Hallelujah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord. But the Lord shall deliver them all of them all. I don't know how I stay still in that corner this morning. Because Marissa, you done messed me right up. I get it, you. With the songs, every song line right up. Amen. This week, uh, I didn't even remember. I was supposed to speak, right? And um, when Minister Kim sent a message to me, she said, Minister Grace, according to the schedule, you um you down to minister on Sunday. You can be seen here. So I was like, what? I say, they put me to come after that man on Sunday? I say, Jesus, what is this? And I began to panic. Saints, I'm telling you, I began to panic. So I say, Lord, what I could say now? I say, what I could say? And so I say, I'm going to get up. And I'm going to declare that I will not be silent. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And so, Minister Kim read 29 this morning. And I'm moving on to 30. 
I will exalt thee, O Lord. For thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Say that to the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endured but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall not be moved. David got a little pompous there. He got a little something like us. When we get a car, a house, or a nice job, we began to think that it's all about us, yeah. like the man said yesterday, yeah. but it's not about us. Yeah. It's only about God and what we do for him. Yeah. That's the only thing that will last. Yes. So in his prosperity, he said, I shall not be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Yeah. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. So when we get pompous, yeah. God have to remind us. He have to let us see who he is and recognize that we have to come to him. We need him in every situation. We need God. We can't do without him because he is the way maker. He owns the earth and the hills and the cattle and us too. So we have to acknowledge who he is in spite of who we think we are. So he said, Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. Oh, yes, Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness yes, to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and to not be silent. I can't be silent. Oh Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Yes. David said, I will exalt thee, O Lord. Yes. To exalt means to praise highly. Mm -hmm. I will celebrate. I will commend. I will glorify. I will exalt. I will acclaim. I will applaud. I will hail. I will venerate and I will worship yes. the King of Kings. That's right. And the Lord of Lords. Yes. Amen. Psalm 30 and 5 say, weeping may last for one night, for the night. But a shout of joy comes in the morning. We can learn lessons from an eagle. Eagle has strong wishes. Not like me. I don't have no 2020. I have this, this makeshift glasses here. But it's not going to help me much because I have situation I need to deal with with my eye. Okay? So... That's not gonna help me right now. But the eagle have very strong vision. Eagles move with speed. Eagles rise above problems. Yes, above situations. They fly high and is courageous. But most importantly, an eagle goes to a place of safety during adversity. We need to adopt the spirit yes. of the eagle. Yes. So where do we go in times of adversity? We go to the rock. Yes. The refuge. Only Jesus. Only He's Jesus. the only one that can help us in times of adversity. No matter what we think. I love this couple sitting here. The boys. But only so much Ah, Lemio can do for Anastasia, and only so much Anastasia can do for them. They gotta remember 
to put God in the midst of it all. Because for God and the rest, without God in the vessel, there's no smiling at the storm. But with God in the vessel, all things are possible. All things are possible. And only Him can steer you from adversity, the storms of life. He gotta keep you. So you gotta keep your mind fixed and stayed on Him. Keep Focus on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and your marriage will be a success. Your life will be a success. Your health, it ain't always going to be good. But God, but God Celeste, God is able in the midst of the challenges he gives you the strength to push for another day. He is a sustainer. He will keep you. And he will keep you if you keep your mind fixed and stayed on him. His promises are sure. He don't lie. So we take a lesson from the eagle. Nehemiah in 8 and 10 B says, during times of sadness, Nehemiah said, do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is still your strength. So continue to press into God. He is able to do the exceeding. David experienced many ups and downs, triumphs and sorrows as a shepherd, giant slayer, warrior, fugitive, exile, father and king. He had seen it all and was certainly no stranger to the unexpected and unpredicted nature of life. But in everything, David, who is referred to as a man after God's own heart, kept his eyes on God. When times were tough, he cried out to God in frustration. When God was faithful, David lifted his voice in praise. As believers, we are encouraged by the life and transparency of David, who proved to be much more than just a warrior or a king. In joyous times, in hopeless times, and every season in between, David poured out his emotion into poetry and music. He wrote, 73 of the 150 Psalms. For many years, David had been on the run from King Saul, and as a fugitive, he had faced tremendous affliction and persecution. Remember, as I mentioned in Psalm 3, he was running. And then he wrote some in his uh in his chases and during his most pressing moments, he wrote some of the most powerful psalms there is, yeah. like Psalms 51, yeah. where he pleaded out to God mercy. and asked for mercy. Yes. Yeah. Huh? And Psalms 54, and then Psalms 59, 142, and all of those. David followed that the more you worship and praise God, the more the Holy Spirit transform you into his likeness. So, I want to advise us today, instead of panicking, praise. Turn your panic into praise. Praise God in the sad times. Praise Him in the bad times. Praise Him in the up times. Praise Him in the down times. Praise Him when you don't feel like praising. Because it ain't about how you feel, man. It's all about Jesus. It's only about Him. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And without Him, we can do nothing but fail. But with Him, we can do all things. So I come today not to prolong you. But I come to tell you, instead of being quiet, instead of panicking, praise. Let the praises of God bring forth out of your mouth. Continually praise Him. Praise Him 
in the morning. Yes, praise him in the evening. Yes, praise him at the noon time. Yes, praise him when the sun yes, goes yes, down. Yes. Praise him with everything that has yes, breath. Praise, praise the Lord. That's it. All we had to do today was sing. I will not be silent. And then the thing about it is, I say, God, I'm going to get up here. And I'm going to just minister, let Marissa them carry on behind with that song. But we had it before. Before I start, we almost couldn't stop that song. And then I say, and then God, I'm going to open the floor. And let whoever have something to say, come and say it. Oh, and aren't you kidding me with before I say it? <laughs> so God is in control. So anyone else who will have a word or a testimony, come now. I'm not going to hold this mic any longer. I'm done. Hallelujah.